and I was feeling very exhausted and semi-depressed. Uh, it does not take much to ruin my day. I was having a very good day at the very beginning and a few things along the way just kind of knocked me off my, my bicycle. My bicycle and I were doing quite well <laughs> until, until uh, just a few, few small things knocked me off and uh, I, I forgot how to ride. Uh, but yeah, so that's why I'm drinking the coffee. <clears throat> I made 12 videos yesterday, uh, and I am now, I don't know if I'm ready for another 12 video marathon, uh, but I kind of feel like I am. I, I do have other things to do though, you know, I have work to do. Uh, but yeah, maybe this video will be committed to talking about women with penises. Uh, and whether that is, you know, one of the questions that I had when I first discovered that I was trans or first started thinking that I was trans was whether or not I needed the vagina to be happy. Uh, and whether really my penis was really a kind of a, a wasted organ on me that it was, you know, is this just... Is this something that I just wasn't meant to have? Uh, I like the idea of having it. I like the idea, like I said, I like the idea of, uh, of there being women with penises in the world. Uh, I, I think it is a... It provides a nice kind of balance to the world, because... Uh, I think when women have to go to, to men to fulfill their sexual needs, uh, I feel that, that that leaves a lot of women still wanting and that's uh, just because they're basically, I don't want to say they're just getting dick, but it's just from what I've heard women say, uh, I remember back when I used to use MySpace, I remember seeing quite a few women post these images uh, uh, kind of not necessarily memes it would be just like a photograph of a a beach and a pier uh, at sunset and it would say this is my ideal man or something like that and it, it, it would it would list all these characteristics and it just so happened that most of the time when I got to the bottom of the list I was convinced that what the women wanted was not a man, what they wanted was a woman with a penis. I mean, when you want someone who's going to be, you know, considerate and compassionate and who's going to listen to you and... I'm like, is, is it really a man that you want? I mean, you basically, you just described a woman. I really, it's what you just described. I don't mean those just three characteristics that I just mentioned, but... Uh, uh, I mean, if that's what you want, that... I would say a woman with a penis is, is going to suit your needs better than a man would. Uh, and in a way, I'm kind of advertising myself, I guess, aren't I? But, uh... But, uh... Yeah, I actually I was working on a story, a science fiction story, and in my story there is a, a religion of trans women, and the... The religion is credited in the story with helping to kind of save the world, not from doom and destruction, but just from the uh, the lack of love. It's described as the world was like a desert, and these these trans women were like rain, and uh, they help bring life to this kind of barren wasteland. Where it was just a kind of, I mean, it, it almost in a way reminds me of the world I live in, which I feel like is a very masculine, heavy uh, environment where it's so masculine, heavy that even women feel the need to act tough, to act not like women. Uh, when I see movies, which depict women as heroes, such as superhero movies, the women are often 
essentially trying to prove that they're just as good as men are in a way. Uh, the superhero movies, you know, the women are kind of have superhuman strength and they can kick a guy's ass and to me that doesn't really show the value of femininity and I think that is one of the one of the uh, that to me is a, is a topic in its own uh, that I feel like I could talk about which was that uh, when I started with this trans uh, search uh, was trying to find the value in femininity because I was I've said it before that I was more misogynist than I thought I was uh, that I I looked for value in femininity and I had a hard time finding it I felt like uh, my view of women was that they were uh, almost like second-class citizens in a way uh, that uh, that their lives were pretty pathetic that they really almost like the the quality of a woman's life was dependent on the quality of men around her uh, so if a woman was depressed it's because the men around her are shit uh, that was kind of how I saw it and if a woman was happy it was because the men around her were good men uh, that's kind of what I felt like and uh, I almost feel like that in my own situation like where I work I feel like if there were good men working there I don't want to say they're bad men but I feel like if they were good men working there I would I would be having a much better time uh, which is not to me that's not true uh, I feel like my my happiness is my responsibility <clears throat> but but in a way that is how I see women I feel like they're because they are so I don't want to use the word passive, but uh, they, because they are they're not trying to control the environments typically, they're not trying to run the country a lot of the time and that kind of thing. Uh, their will or their wants, their wishes are kind of stepped over, stepped on. Uh, or ignored. Uh, But, uh, we, so there was a lot of, <clears throat> for me, kind of trying to see, I mean, if, if, say for example, men and, men and women are equal, but they're not necessarily the same, that makes sense? Let's say, but say they have equal value, like, uh, a man is worth one dollar and a woman is worth one dollar but their value is, is not coming from the same uh, like a hammer's value is not this doesn't come from the same thing or whatever as a screwdriver's value similar I mean similar value right uh, but it's not the same and so there was this idea that I was kind of looking for that the value of a woman was the same as the value of a man's even if it was something different that it wasn't uh, physical strength that the woman didn't have to be as strong as a man or as uh, take charge as a man or any of that stuff that there were other aspects of femininity that uh, were that were valuable that were that in when you weighed them on the balance were just as valuable as what a, what a man does and that was kind of what I found hard to to find uh, I think the the closest thing that I found to that value is uh, is things like what I mentioned in the the, the ideal man po the post that the women were posting uh, the compassion the the listening uh, that women tend to be more respectful to each other and to other people than men do uh, and that to me is kind of what I see as uh, kind of the most valuable part of femininity for me and which is not to say that masculinity is inherently rude and obnoxious offensive uh, but that is kind of 
what I'm going for is uh, that uh, you know, and that is, that is one of the reasons why I kind of for me uh, a woman with a penis, I think, is a special thing. I mean, it, uh, I know some women want uh, manly men. They like rude men. They like men who are jerks and who who will take charge and tell them what to do, or whatever. And but I think in a lot of cases, some women uh, they find that difficult to to trust. And in a lot of cases, what they want is trust. That trust, in some ways, is more important than the manliness. Uh, not always. I know. Uh, some women like effeminate men, soft men, uh, weak men, <clears throat> but uh, uh, but yeah. So I, I feel like there is, for me, I, or at least I like to think that there is value in for society, for women, especially uh, for to have women with the penis around. Uh, Another cup of coffee. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, what else is there to say? <sighs> When I was younger, I mean, I, I did actually, 